just running out, high-fiving everyone, and then standing in the middle of the field with all of our teammates, holding hands, looking at the flag. I just am so happy every single time that I go out on the field. Take a deep breath in. Sammy was always very independent from the moment she came out of the womb. Very strong-willed. She was the kid that, you know, had it all covered. We started soccer very early. She started around five, but she was uh, rambunctious, so soccer was good for her. I got on a club team super early, but I didn't realize that I could really go anywhere with it until like eighth grade when I got on this really good club team. We were winning everything. All of our tournaments we were going to, we were beating the best teams, and we were like, oh, we're actually pretty decent. Like, we could go somewhere with this. She's been special all along, and I've, I think as a parent, you kind of push that to the side sometimes, but when people keep telling you, hey, you know, I think she's got a chance. Sammy really loved the campus, the environment. She really connected with Jim Millinder when he approached her and they spoke. He talked a lot about how the program was getting a lot better and how he saw this uprising and all of these different things, like the visions that he had and that I was a part of the vision. She had gone through years of playing soccer and the last couple games, one of them, she broke her nose on the field. She went to the doctor and, and she kind of placed it back in at the game and then, um, yeah, after that, she went to the doctor and he said, we'll do it, but we'll give you some pain medication. She goes, no, I need it done now. And she popped it right back in the office, which he was like, it was, that's unheard of. Then, I think it was the next game, or maybe the next game after that was her last club soccer game. Right before her career of college, Ball had already signed with USF, and this is what was happening, and she tore her ACL. I was going for the ball, and I got there before the girl, so I turned my body to try and shield the ball, and my left leg was in the air for some reason. I don't remember why, but I just remember it swinging across my body and I heard my knee pop. After the game, after we went to the hospital, I called Jim and I said, hey, you know, I think she might have tore it. She thinks she tore it. Um, he goes, okay, it's, you know, we'll, we'll work it out. He goes, if she did tear it, you know, I want you to come up here for the surgery um, and, and we'll figure it out. Jim Millinder was amazing support comforted her and supported her and encouraged her that this isn't this isn't the end this is just an obstacle and you're gonna get there I think the hardest thing was the fitness because you do all of this stuff it's so repetitive and everyone was really positive and everyone was uplifting and that really helped coming in because I was technically a freshman great work here by Jennings when she came back from her injury for the first time she got out there and was so hungry and so ready. To the back of the net for San Francisco! Right footed chip shot is in the back of the net. It's a goal for Samantha Jennings. Everybody on the team knew what their role was and I think that was super important because we would people would come off the bench and that was okay. Like that was something that was a positive thing that you're still going on, you're still producing. That'll be opportunity for the Dons, and that one is put home. That is the first victory for USF over Santa Clara in program history in their 32nd try. After that year that she got out on the field for USF, she had her next injury. I tore my right ACL and I tore my left meniscus. Like you just think, how long is this gonna put me out for? Like how long am I gonna have to sit the bench? It was easier as far as like the pain and like telling myself that I can get through it because I knew that I had gone through it before. After the injuries, I think that training is harder than her regular training. It's nonstop and she's in the training room with the trainers and doing extra stuff and I mean, she's, she never gives up. 
no matter what the score is, she's going to still put it all out there and leave it on the field. Like never, ever has she ever, through all of these injuries, ever said, I'm sick of it and I'm done and I'm not doing this anymore. Like her passion and her heart is out there and you can really see that. She's just the smartest player I know. I mean, she can see the field better than anybody. She's a goal scorer, but she can also collect the ball and, and she knows how to distribute it. I think she has higher expectations than anybody on herself. Set piece opportunity for the Dons. I think Jim does too. Jim expects a lot out of her, but she thrives on it. That ball is in the net. San Francisco with its first win ever over the Pilots. Not a very patient person, so it's helped me slow down and kind of focus on the details and also just making me realize how much I love the sport. Not to take things for granted because you never are guaranteed anything. I told her a couple of weeks ago I, I thought she was one of the strongest women I know. Just all the adversity she's been through with the knees and with personal stuff and I mean she's wise beyond her years. I'm excited to see what's next for her in the next game, and the next year, and beyond that, because I know that's her passion and her desire, and I'm excited to see where that goes.